Good morning. It's 11 o'clock in the UK and we are going to run up the volcano hill. Oh, that's new. Add a target. Hang on a minute. I'm level one. I'm level 24. What's that all about? That's new. Okay, well, let's not worry about that now. We're going to run up the volcano. Should be about seven and a half K to get to the top. And then, um, then we'll run down again. Thank you for the ride on, whoever that was. I just missed you. So through the tunnel and then round a little bit and then we need to press the button to get up. I've got a marathon on Sunday and it's Friday today so I don't want to be overstretching my legs. At the moment I'm watching the screen on the computer there. Really I need a big screen in front of me. I can get a, a TV screen or something. So it won't be long before when we come out of the tunnel here, out of the volcano, we get to the turn to go up the volcano. I've noticed already though that even though it says level one, I've got quite a few points now and the orange bar is not moving at all. So this might be a bug. It's further, much further than I thought to the start of the climb. Okay, so let's just quickly do that. There we go. Whoa! Right, so we are going to go up the climb now. So, it is four kilometres to the top. That's going to be a 17, 18 minute climb, that is, at this speed. Okay, there you go. So that's the start of the volcano con there. Doesn't look like Zwift have implemented any slowing down for gradient though, for runners, as yet. So let's just do a little introduction. If you are brand new to Zwift, Zwift has been around for two and a half years or so and it's been primarily a cycling platform in a virtual world. So you, this is what you see here, this is an island called Watopia. It's a completely fictional creation but you can get on your bike, on your trainer, in your kitchen or your garage or whatever and you can ride in real time with other real cyclists from around the world. There on your right hand side of the screen you can see different people, they're all real people. You can see the country flag next to their name. So you can cycle, have races, there are organised events, you can do workouts. So if you see any cyclists with a screen in front of them, that means they're doing a workout. Very recently, Swift has introduced running. So you can now get a foot pod or a chest strap which has an accelerometer in it like my ticker here. You can climb on a treadmill and you can run like I'm doing in the virtual world. Makes treadmill running a lot less boring. You can use a Bluetooth foot pod like the um, Polar Stride Sensor or the Milestone foot pod or you can use a chest strap like the ticker X which I'm wearing for heart rate or you can use Ant Plus on your computer so standard Ant Plus stick in the USB port of your computer and then use your Garmin foot pod Zwift is also available not only on the PC and the Mac but it's also available on iOS so you can run with your phone or your iPod or your iPad. The fastest riders have finished the con by now. Seven minutes. You might not believe it, but running on a treadmill is a lot more difficult than running outdoors. You find that your speed is a lot faster in the real world outdoors than it is on a treadmill. Well, I find that anyway on this treadmill. A kilometre and a bit to go. Maybe do it in 17 or 18 minutes. So you can go to Zwift.com, which is the official website. You can also join a multitude of groups on Facebook. There's groups for all over the world. So you've got Zwift Australia and Zwift UK. You've also got Zwift Riders and Zwift Runners, which are the two main groups for running and cycling. And you can find out loads of information there. There is pinned posts at the top 
please read the pinned posts and then if you're interested in watching live racing head over to Zwift Community Live on Facebook or Zwift Community Live on beam.pro where you'll find live cycle races almost pretty much every day of the week apart from maybe Saturdays I'm still not last <laughs> Maybe these are other runners now. Faster runners. Let's get to the top, come on. Oh yes, passing the run, passing the cyclists. <laughs> come on boys, make an effort. Here comes the line. So there's a guy with a, a screen on the front, he's doing a workout, so he won't be feeling the gradients in the same way. There we are, 16.44. On top of the con. Slow down a little bit. So we'll finish at 10 kilometers. We'll head down the hill a bit. What you do at this point is once you finish the con, you do a little loop of the top of the caldera on the volcano and then you come down. You're good to have a helicopter shot now. Get a bit higher, come on. A little bit of the inside of the volcano there. So there's the con banner, so we just turn right now and go down the hill. As difficult as it is for the cyclists to go up the hill, whereas I'm not feeling any different, it's easy for the cyclists to free wheel down the hill, whereas of course I have to keep running proper. So swings and roundabouts, because I've got a big race on Sunday in the real world, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna roll all the way down to the bottom of the volcano. We'll just finish at 10K, so my legs don't get too tired. The dust coming off my shoes there. I hope I'm still not wearing cycling shoes. I'd quite like to have some proper running shoes. Thanks for the ride on. My orange bar isn't going up at all. Initially I thought it was quite a nice new feature that runners have a separate XP to cyclists, but I'm wondering now if it's a bug. Kilometre to go. Guys, thanks very much for joining me today. If, you, um, if you're interested in watching any more Zwift videos, then do please subscribe to the Zwift Rides channel. All my Zwift running and Zwift cycling videos are on there. And also, if you're interested in running in the real world, I have Film My Run YouTube channel. Film My Run. And uh, you can go and have a look at real world marathons, triathlons, 10Ks, half marathons, ultras, 100 mile races, all filmed and on the Film My Run channel. So go and subscribe to those two YouTube channels. Live cycling on Zwift Community Live with Nathan Guerra on Facebook or on Beam.pro. If you hate running on the treadmill, you hate cycling on your trainer, get on Zwift. It makes it a lot more bearable, a lot more fun and a lot more social. So we'll just come out the other side of the volcano and then we'll call it a day. There we are, 10 kilometres up and halfway down the volcano. That's the new volcano con, the new volcano hill. Only released yesterday. It's good, another bit of road to add to Watopia. Okay, so guys, thank you very much again for coming along and joining me on my 10k run up the volcano. And we'll see you next time for a cycle race, perhaps, who knows? <laughs> uh, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye guys.